Pivot Tables and Pivot Charts Microsoft Access 2002 introduced two very useful new features for tables, queries and forms, Pivot Tables and Pivot Charts. Pivot Tables in Access are very similar to the Pivot Table facility in Microsoft Excel. You can categorize rows by several values and also you can include multiple column categories and multiple raw or calculated values in each intersection of rows and columns. Additionally, you can also pivot the table to swap row headings with column headings. A pivot chart is a graphical view of the data that you include in your pivot table. You can build a pivot chart without first defining the pivot table and vice versa. When you design a pivot chart, you're also designing or modifying the related pivot table to provide the data you need for your chart. When you modify a pivot table, you'll also change the related pivot chart you have already designed. Building a pivot table Now let us generate a pivot table and a pivot chart for our SUM product category query. Right-click on the query and click on Design View on the shortcut menu. Click the View button and choose Pivot Table View. Now you need to add fields to the pivot table from the pivot table field list. Click, drag and drop the category name field onto the drop column fields here drop zone. Click, drag and drop the sum of product in stock field onto the drop totals or drop detail fields here drop zone. Now your pivot table is ready for viewing, which is displayed on screen. Save the changes now. Building a pivot chart. For this, click the View button and choose Pivot Chart View. As in the case of Pivot Table, you need to drag and drop data items to the respective drop zones. Click, drag and drop the Category Name field onto the Drop Category Fields Here drop zone. Click, drag and drop the Sum of Product in Stock field onto the Drop Details Fields Here drop zone. Right-click on the Chart Space and choose Properties to add a few more properties for better presentation. From the Select drop-down, choose Category Axis 1 Title. Click on the Format tab. Enter categories in Caption after deleting the text that is present. Click on the General tab. From the Select drop-down, choose Value Axis 1 Title. Click on the Format tab. Enter Product Total in Caption after deleting the text that is present. The changes get reflected immediately. Click the Close button to close the Properties window. Click the Close button to close the Chart Field List window. Now your pivot chart is ready for viewing. Save the changes now. We have now seen how to build a pivot table and pivot chart. Forms Overview This lesson provides an overview on forms. For this, we would be using the Northwind database of Access 2007. We would then be building forms for our client eGizmos. There are different types of forms that Access supports. Important among them are Multiple page forms. These are forms that run to more than one page. These are typically useful when you want to display large amounts of data on screen. Continuous forms. Such forms are the ones that display continuous data one after the other in the manner of a data sheet. On screen you are viewing one such form, the order list form. Subforms. A subform is a good way to show related data from the many side of a one-to-many relationship. The home form 
is one such from where in the inventory to recorder form is attached as a separate subform. Any form has the following section. Header section. This is where you would like to add a static text that will aptly describe the form. The details in this section don't change when you are navigating through the records. On screen, the customer list label represents this. Details section. This is the section which display the contextual contents on screen. You can see details of the customer like first name, last name, email address, and so on. Footer section. This is again a static section like the header. Again, you are provided with the flexibility of placing any static text here.